encounter with Archbishop Benson Idahosa. The Dangote Story Benin City, formerly known as the City of Blood, was experiencing a great revival in the 70s through 39-year-old Benson Andrew Idahosa, the late Archbishop of Church of God Mission in Benin City, formerly the Dan Bendel State, Nigeria. Idahosa, who had recently returned from a missionary school in America and established strong links with with a number of pastors such as Gordon Lindsay, Jim Baker and T.L. Osborne among others. Soon, Idahosa and Osborne developed a stronger relationship for the pursuit of God's kingdom which led to Dr. T.L. Osborne's frequent visits to Bina City. T.L. and Daisy Osborne and stayed late ministry at the Miracle Center of Church of God Mission just opposite the airport. They therefore went late to catch their flight to Lagos which was supposed to be a connected flight from Johannesburg to France and then the USA. Dr. T.L. and Daisy Osborne By the time Ida Hosa took his guests to the airport, they were told that the last flight for the day was overbooked. Not one seat was available. The passengers had boarded and flight about to take off. Not only that, the jetliner had begun to taxi towards the runway. Benson Ida Hosa's new Mercedes speed like a bolt of lightning towards the tarmac and screeched to a halt in front of the plane. Benson Idahosa came out and waved at the pilot frantically. The plane stopped and the steps were lowered as the pilot came down to know what the issue was. Idahosa began. I have two of God's important servants who must go to Lagos. But we are loaded to capacity. Every seat is full. Said the captain. Never mind. Let me on board. They all know me. The Simeon Redemption Hour. Idahosa's TV program. Let me talk to them. Ida Osa obliged, climbed into the plane and walked down the crowded aisles. The passengers were annoyed. He prayed silently as he returned to the front. He turned round, facing the passengers and started, Excuse me friend, I have two of God's special servants in my car. They must go to Lagos today on this plane. Two of you will get off now, so God's servant can board. God bless you. waited a minute. No one moved. The silence showed annoyance by the impatient passengers. Some pretended to be asleep and others, it seemed, were praying. In the Hosa slowly walked the aisle again. As he approached the rear, a young man rose from the back of the plane and asked the person sitting next to him to get up. said Idahosa, pointing, you can go tomorrow, you can travel later, he said, pointing to the other man. The boat gathered their belongings and proceeded from the plane. 
Benzin Idahosa stopped the first man in the Isle of the Plain. He asked him, young man, what's your name? My name is Aliko Dangote, and this is my assistant, the young man replied. I am a trader, a businessman. Impressed, Benzin Idahosa responded. The world would get up for you. Mostly, Christian passengers responded, Amen. God will take you and your business beyond Africa and bless you beyond measure. Just before descending the steps, Ida also turned and raised his hands with tears in his eyes and praised the Lord and blessed the remaining passengers for their patience. They all broke out in spontaneous clapping. See you on Redemption Hour this Sunday evening, he said. They clapped as T.L. and Daisy Osborne boarded for the subsequent flight. The world has since stood up for that 20-something year old man and is still standing. Today, Aliko Dangote is a Nigerian billionaire with over $10.3 billion net worth. According to 2019 statistics, presently the 65th richest in the world, the 23rd in 2014, and the richest man in Africa. May we never lose our blessings in the days of visitation. May we be sensitive enough to know when God is about to bless us through his servant. Please like and share and subscribe. May the Lord bless you. Amen.